Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Psycho Sim Reviews here on YouTube today. I'm going to be reviewing the brand new album from a bit of a uh, contentious band in the metal con community as it were, who seem to get a lot of bile and hate for reasons that I don't quite understand, because just because they're unique maybe? I don't know. But I am of course talking about the one and only Baby Metal and their new album Metal Galaxy if I can get that without the shine on it. Um, so, this is their third album. Is it as good as the other two? Do they continue to belong in the metal scene? Well, let's give this a listen and find out, shall we? So here we are, the third album by the Japanese semi-legends, I suppose now, um, known as Baby Metal, a very divisive band in the metal uh, camp, as it were. Um, now, it's a bit weird because um, Personally, I think uh, they belong in the metal genre, as it were. They're an absolutely awesome band, just because they're doing something different that may be new and scary to a load of people. Um, doesn't mean that they should be excluded from being considered a metal band. And not just a metal band, but a very, very good one that is happy to bring in influences from pretty much everywhere, if it suits the music. And with Metal Galaxy, this is probably their most more straightforward album in a way um, there's still loads of influences in here in fact one of the songs um, Brand New Day sounds like something from the 80s to be honest with you um, and there's a lot of stuff on here that yeah as is sort of standard with Baby Metal's music does sound like it belongs as like the opening theme to an anime or something um, or battle scene in an anime which I have no problem with being a bit of an anime fan as I am because I am a bit of a geek but uh, yeah Metal Galaxy so first of all I'm going to say this is another absolutely excellent album I mean Baby Metal now free for free you know 100% perfect record they've not done a bad album um, obviously a band are down to uh, two people on the album um, I know they've got another person in uh, but she's not on this album she's not recording any vocals or anything um, and first of all I've got to say Sue Metal's vocals on this she's really really come into her own on this album whereas before she was always a good vocalist but this album she's really reached a new peak in how good her vocal performance is um, not sounding like slightly hesitant with some of the songs or some of the uh, vocal lines and then um, sounding really really awesome obviously my metal dna screams and i would say the dancing but you can't see dancing in an album and um, there's a few guests on here a uh, joachim broden puts in a fantastic turn and um, him him being the lead singer of sabaton on the track oh imagine i um a little white gloves um is on distortion which i believe was the first single from this album um although to be honest with you with the way the uh Alyssa's vocals are um It'd be kind of hard pressed to realise it was her at first. Um, so, because I thought it was just one of the backing guitarists or something at first. And I thought, oh yeah, it's Alyssa. Um, someone called E Hero or F Hero, sorry. I have no idea who that is. Sorry if you do. Um, and also, Brand New Day features Tim Henson and Scott the Page and Dada Dance as Tak Matsumoto. I do apologise, I don't know who those people are. But yeah, we kick off with Future Metal, which is quite a nice little sort of intro track leading to Da Da Dance, excellent out song. Let's just say, there's not really any bad songs on here. Um, shanty 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 is where things start to get a bit different, having a bit of a more inti, uh, inti? Indian vibe um, to their music, which clashes quite well with the metal they're playing. So say about Brand New Day, yeah, it's very 80s. Um, they got a really, really dark sounding track called In The Name Of that just comes out of nowhere. It's um, it's really quite strange. Um, then Papa Ya sort of goes back to that kind of dancey stuff that um, Baby Metal are well known for. Um, and then tracks 12, 13 and 14. I could put this. Some bands do one sort of outro ending track that sounds like it's wrapping up the album. Some bands do too. Baby Metal all win for free. Like, seriously, the last three tracks on here, Starlight, Shine, and Arcadia, could all have been the the end of the album. Um, it's that sort of three false endings, as it were, for the album. But they're all excellent songs. I can see why they put them on here. So, yes, Metal Galaxy, the third album from Baby Metal, gets a four and a half out of five for me. There's one or two moments on here where um, Sue Metal does sound a little bit sort of bored, 
in a way. I don't know, maybe that's just me hearing that. Um, but otherwise, it's a really, really engaging album, an excellent album. As I said, Baby Metal are free for free, and they absolutely belong as part of the metal world. So there you have it. That is what I thought of the new Baby Metal album, um, Metal Galaxy. As I said, don't understand all the hate towards the band, but people will hate no matter what. Anyway, thank you for watching. As always, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, click the bell, throw fish at me when you see me in the street whatever you like um anything that engages with the channel as it were as youtube seems to love that um also feel free to check out the patreon as well if you want to help fund the channel and indeed help me to make better videos and get a better camera would be fantastic as well anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time John, two, one, two,